everyone so I wanted to do this video today because I just feel like when I am more organized in my life I just feel more beautiful I feel more calm I feel more loving and kind to other people and I just overall feel better when I'm more organized so uh, over the last like six months I kind of started a new program to kind of keep my life in order so that I remember things I don't know if I am just like hitting that age where I just cannot remember anything I, I don't know what it is like if it's not written down somewhere I will not remember so I have just put this new plan in place so that I can start remembering things something I want to kind of preface this with is that you need to find something that works for you I know for a long time I tried to do things that similar to my friends or other people that I knew that really worked for them and I tried to like schedule out like 9 to 10 I'm doing this, 10 to 11 I'm doing this, whatever and that just didn't work for me. It was very confining, it just didn't help me be as productive as I could have been. So that being said, find something that works for you. I'm just giving you ideas about what I do and that really help me, but find things that work for you. If scheduling it on your phone really helps you, that's great. That's not something that works for me because I just feel like when I write it down, it's just it's just better for me so I like to write things down but I know a lot of people keep it on the calendars on their phones there's a lot of really really great um, organization apps on um, the iPhone there's Evernote there's Wonderlist there's um, I'm trying there's there's just so many like I just can't think of them off the top of my head if you'd like that video let me know below but um, there's a lot of really great um, list apps if you're a list person and if not there's a lot of other ways to get organized there's a lot um, of self-help books there's a lot of just really great information to help you be productive so make sure that the system that you are using is working for you and if you feel like you're not being productive it's probably not working for you and you need to try a different app Avenue, if that makes sense and the first thing I got is this agenda and it's from sugar paper and it is I got it at Target and it's a really nice agenda it's it's small it's it's lightweight it's got this little like um, mark marker so that you know where you are and um, I just kind of wanted to go through and show you kind of how I organize my life and things and maybe you'll get some ideas on how to organize better and just feel better because you are more organized and feel more in control of your life and I think that's just so huge is knowing what you have to do and being productive and it just makes you feel so much better when you do so. So um, I'm just going to kind of jump in here and show you what I do personally and the first thing is this is like the monthly overview and I don't use this as much as I do the weekly but I like to put this little um, sticky note on here and write down the goals or things that I know need to be accomplished for the month so that I can kind of go through as I'm doing my weekly layout and look back and know oh that was something that I wanted to get done this month and I have two or three weeks left and I need to like get on it and I also put like random uh, things in there that are like birthdays or events like that and then I have my weekly view. Now I just do a lot better when I have lists. What I used to do is I had a calendar on my wall and I would just make lists at the bottom of them and check them off as I got them done, which that actually was really helpful, but I just didn't like how it cluttered my calendar and my husband had no room to write his stuff on there. And so it was just kind of nice to put it all in a little agenda. And so what I do is probably on Monday morning is when I sit down and I kind of fill in my schedule for the week. Now I don't like schedule times of when I'm going to do things because I just feel like that's setting myself up for failure because if I'm not feeling well that day or that hour or whatever I'm not feeling like doing that I'm not going to force myself to do it because I don't feel like that makes me happy and productive that just makes me feel like I did something I didn't want to do so I just kind of make lists on days where I think it would be good to do it and then if I get to do it that day great if not it goes to the next day so this is kind of what this last week looks like and I color code everything just because I feel like when I color code things it makes me feel more organized and it makes me excited to get in and like I don't know like it, it just makes me excited to see all the different colors in my agenda I guess and I use the it's Pentel Wow I got them from Office Max I believe and these are really nice they're the medium ballpoint pens and I just think they work really well and I have different um, colors for different things essentially and then I, I have this little bag from Epsi and I didn't know what to do with it and it actually is perfect I keep like my sticky notes here 
in there and my pens that I use and so I'd love to find a pen that has like all the different colors I know when I was little they had like the blue bottom and the white top and it had like red blue green or something and I just think those are so tacky I don't know what it is but I'd love to find like a really cute one that had like all the colors in one pen so I didn't have to cart around like 10 pens but this is kind of nice because it squishes flat and so it just like sits in my purse with all the stuff in it and it it doesn't bother me but so I have my blue is for all of my work related things which I'm a dance teacher so anything dance related is going to be in blue all my YouTube stuff is in pink um, purple is kind of home or around the house or groceries or whatever and then my yellow or my orange is kind of social events or stuff with friends and then I use the black to check things off and I really like checking things off because it just makes me feel really good that I did that I accomplished something so this is this is this week for instance and then I keep these as just kind of these are just little sticky notes and they're just kind of reminders not necessarily things I need to do but just things that um, like if I need to do something every day or I find something like a note or something I'll put it on there that way I can just throw it away once I have it so I just have like all of these different colors and then as they get done I just check them off and like you can see this is from Monday and it's a blog post on my family blog and I haven't done it yet so it stays unchecked for the week until I do it and then you know on Friday or whatever you can kind of see like Towards the end of the week I do less just because I feel like I'm preparing for the weekend so I don't need to do as much and um, and so I can kind of go back and pick out the things that I missed during the week and check those off so then they're all there what's really nice about this agenda too is it has a notes um, pages in the back I don't use those as much just because I tend to write it when it's current and relevant and if I write it in the back I just might not remember that it's there uh, but I just find that this is really easy because I can see like you know what if I have a lot going on this day I'm not gonna add to it I'm not gonna put more on top of my schedule than I need to because then I'm not gonna be happy and I'm gonna be cranky and it's just not a good thing um, when I was in school I did something very very similar with my different classes that way I was able to kind of organize my classes and see when tests are like my tests and exams were in one color I think that's my cat that's crying um, sorry um, I did my tests and exams in one color my assignments in another very very similar and it was just helpful because it made me excited to go in and see it all and then I'm not constantly trying to remember things and getting stressed that I'm forgetting things because I know it's written down somewhere and it's gonna get done it's just a matter of where it is on my calendar and that just really helps me feel a lot more at ease and organized with things one tip that's really helpful that I, it, it's kind of funny and maybe it's cheating but things that I do that like I don't necessarily write in here what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll write it in there and check it off that way like sometimes I just feel like I did a lot but it was nothing out of here and so I like to see like look at all these things that I did that I didn't necessarily write down so that's kind of helpful if you're feeling down and like you're not accomplishing a lot that's kind of a good way to make sure that you see and you appreciate your for all the things that you do because we do a lot we're busy and we have a lot going on and scheduling and, and not so much scheduling but making lists and seeing all the things we do can really help you feel good about yourself and appreciate yourself for everything you do especially maybe when people in your life don't um, or people around you don't necessarily appreciate it you can look back and see how much you did and how much you've done in the span of a month or a week or whatever and so it's just kind of a really nice self-esteem booster for me um, I hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any other questions or comments or um, would like something similar to this in a different video please let me know below or any questions that you have um, if you're stuck with something and you need just some ideas on getting organized or um, scheduling your life better or anything like that, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below because I would love to help. I really enjoy doing that and so it, it's nice that I can kind of help. But I wasn't always so organized. When I was younger, I was just... I shouldn't even say when I was younger like a year ago I just was not organized and I had a really hard time getting motivated and being productive <clears throat> excuse me and you know and so I know how it is when you're not like feeling perfect and feeling like you can organize your life so I have a lot of really great insights and stuff if you need help with that because I just I've been through the journey and I know that there are there are, I know there are tips that you can use to help motivate you and help you be productive so anyways I hope this was helpful I'd love to hear from you below and I'll talk to you soon bye